working on the project for the Billy Graham Library, I would say was a moment of uh, divine inspiration uh, because there was a wall and there was a vision to do something with the wall. And other than that, none of us really knew what would happen. So this is the actual natural media painting of the cross and then installed in the library we'll see the high-tech recreation as a mural. But ladies and gentlemen, may I present the first public unveiling of the cross. This painting is a heavenly vision. It could be a natural vision. Uh, it is a, a work of the imagination, and of course we see the cross silhouetted with the distant heavens opening up, the light pouring out, and in the foreground we see patches of light beckoning us in, a symbol of grace welcoming us into that world of the painting. I invite you to take a look at it. This is the original uh, oil painting upon which we then created the mural. And when you see the mural and see that dramatic conclusion I would echo what Billy Graham said, that this place and the life of Billy Graham, just like my life, Franklin's life, any of us who labor for something we believe in, uh, is not about us. It's not about a man, but it's about God's grace. How he can use even uh, imperfect vessels to create extraordinary moments of hope and inspiration for people. And that's what it's all about, the cross. Every painting is a journey. Uh, you perhaps see it formed in your mind, but only as though through a glass dimly lit. You know, you don't see the whole vision. As I work on a project like this, I personally feel guided. Uh, I think early on we discussed having a lot more illustrative elements, uh, perhaps scenes from scripture, Garden of Gethsemane, different elements that would perhaps uh, bring the story of the gospel to life. But then uh, the more I worked on it, I began to hone the entire painting down to a single message and eventually a single word, the cross. Uh, in fact, it was Franklin Graham has, himself who kept reminding me, Tom, it, it all gets down to the cross. I would hear that phrase repeated by Franklin or by his representatives. Hey, you know, the cross is central. And so as the painting emerged, I uh, took one of the visions I had painted earlier of a cross up on a mountain, and I began to re-envision it with swirling clouds and a distant drama of, of the horizon opening up. The work of art needs no interpreter. People of all cultures, all backgrounds can stand in front of this painting and be filled with hope because everyone can understand light on the horizon that breaks forth from the clouds of heaven and pours out like God's love just pouring upon the landscape. And everyone can look up at that cross and, and wonder at its spiritual significance, the great incredible symbology represented by the cross of Christ. Uh, everyone can look at clouds and see that swirling mist as a reminder of eternity. Uh, of the heavens themselves that open up and beckon, welcoming each of us into a new place of, of trust and faith. Uh, because you see, the, the heavens are our destiny. So I really wanted this painting to almost be a, a portrayal, not just of a earthly place, but maybe a glimpse of a heavenly realm, or perhaps somewhere in between. When you see inspiration happen, you know that God's hand was in it. Uh, I began to see clouds, that's all I saw. And then I began to see a silhouette of maybe a rock emerging out of the clouds. And then I began to conceive of a cross, triumphant, up on that rock. And then pretty soon, I remember a couple days later, I'm working on it and I see a little glint of light in the distance. Pretty soon it becomes like an open ocean. I began to think of all the scriptures that relate to the seas and the heavens and how we see a likeness of God when we look at nature and we see the infinitude of the horizon stretching off. It's such a symbol uh, of God's love, His hand of blessing guiding us into the infinite distance of eternity. My passion is that when we create something for the public display, that we have a chance to 
see that work uh, presented to people. And my goal with this painting is that people, real people, who may never get a chance to see a work of art in any other way, would come here and see not a work of art, but see the cross. That's really the message of the painting. People always ask me how long it takes to do a Thomas Kincaid painting, and I, and I always say about 40 years plus, <laughs> plus a couple hundred hours. Uh, because I've been painting for 40 years and as I've worked over the years I have learned that I need to keep pouring passion into the project until it's done. Uh, hundreds of hours oftentimes go into a project. Every element of it is detailed by hand. I've, I have a vision of where I want to go with the painting and I just keep working it tenaciously till, it, till that vision is realized. The light that is in my paintings is his love, and it has nothing to do with me. I would say the same thing to anybody seeing the mural that Billy Graham says to people who hear him preach. Don't mistake the messenger for the message. Don't enshrine me as an individual. Don't look at that painting and think about an artist. Just think about the cross. That's all that matters.